Hello YouTubers, how are you guys all doing out there today? I am coming up with uh, with another video here. I wanted to, uh, I definitely uh, wanted to come up with an extra video. I know I took a couple days off there and I apologize about that, but we did create an excellent team uh, last night, or I should say at the wee hours of the morning. Um, I really enjoyed uh, the team that we ended up creating. I'm going to do another legendary one just because of that. I still have not gotten... Uh, anywhere near a top 10 pick so i'm kind of having to to create what i can uh but again yesterday worked out great i'm i'm hoping that we have similar success today but with a much nicer pick in the draft that is uh that's what i'm hoping for let's uh let's go ahead and remember that uh, every time i do this i make sure that i don't know where i'm picking from i don't want to know um okay there um i like to do serpentine to make it more you know to make it fair I turn injuries off because I typically use GM mode more than anything else. I always close my eyes when we pick teams. All right, and this time we're Memphis. All right, so let's go ahead and let's see where we get our pick in the draft. Um, and that'll that'll really determine what we can do here. All right, so now we do have some decisions. Uh, you know, I could take Kawhi. Um, there's Oscar Robinson, but that's at 32 years old, but I still may do that. Um, Allen Iverson is always tempting, and then obviously Dr. J um, or Kevin Durant uh, or Westbrook um, or Jerry West. Um, so these these are all really good players. Um, I typically shy away from Gary Payton just because I've always looked at him as, as a great defensive player, uh, but I don't know that I'd want him to be the number one star on my team. Uh, Kawhi, you know, is getting to that point where he's elite, but I, I said that we were making a legendaries. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take Allen Iverson. Um, that dude just was ridiculous. He definitely is a number one scoring option on any team. <laughs> let's see. Let's see who we can put with him. Um, oh, that's interesting. I mean, if I'm going to go with old school players, I mean, this version of Jabbar that's 40 years old or Chamberlain at 35, those guys are on their way out. What I'm thinking is we go ahead and we add Walt Frazier, um, with, with Allen Iverson, um, it's going to be a ridiculously fast, fast, fast point guard, shooting guard combination there. They're going to be able to run the floor. Um, and I don't know if anybody can catch them. Let's see here. You know, I, I typically like to go SF. Um, if I'm going to do this, I like to get my scores in line. Uh, debate in between. You know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go because, again, I want to make a legendaries team. Let's go ahead and take James Worthy right here. Um, I think that that'll be a good choice for us. And, uh, yeah, I think he'll be solid. So, let's see here. So, again, so far we have Allen Iverson, uh, Walt Frazier, and James Worthy, um, which I think will be really nice. Uh, again, we need either a center or a power four with this pick. I'm going to go ahead and take uh, take Robert Parrish, I think. You know what, I'll go even older school than that. I think that uh, I don't... Brad Doherty doesn't get enough love. I'm going to go ahead. I'll take Brad Doherty. Um, and then let's see what we get for our power forward. Um, at least uh, at least with Doherty, I'll, I'll definitely be able to score the ball. Um, defensively, I'm a little concerned when we play some of the stronger teams or stronger uh, stronger centers, but we'll see what happens. Um, look at this. we got Dennis Rodman at 28. Um, cannot beat that uh, for, for our certain power forward spot. Um, really happy with that. So, again, our starting lineup is going to be Allen Iverson, Walt Frazier, uh, James Worthy, Brad Doherty, and Dennis Rodman. And uh, I think that this is going to work out really, really nice. you got bigs that can kind of get it done. He can kind of rebound. But the thing, again, look at his inside game and even his mid game. He, he can shoot uh, for a center. Uh, so I think we did pretty good there. Um, I typically look for my extra big man right here. And, again, I have it in Horace Grant. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do that. I like Horace because he can play both power forward and center. And again, he can shoot the ball. He rebounds pretty well. He has decent strength, not not ridiculous. Um, but he can definitely still get it done at least a little bit for us. Um, okay, so now we need to figure out what we want to put with these guys. Um, I'm a sucker for Tracy Porter being available here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take Tracy Porter. Uh, I just think he's an underrated player. He can definitely knock down shots. He runs the ball fast. So even when Allen or um, or while Frazier is on the bench, we still have a fast guy to move the ball up that can pass the ball. Um, I'm all for that. Um, okay, so let's see here. Um, 
Okay, so, um, yeah. You know what, John Starks is right there. I've always been a fan of John Starks. I think you guys have seen me pick him quite a few times. Um, I just like him as a backup shooting guard. I, I like the fact that he can knock down threes. He's pretty quick on the floor. Um, he plays relatively good defense. Um, yeah, I, I'm a fan of I'm a fan of John Starks. So let's see here. Um, so yeah, either an SF or a center at this time. Um, wow. So centers have really been cleared out more than we thought that they would be. Um, yeah, why don't we go ahead and take a take a Sean Elliott? You know. Um, I think that could be fun, or, hmm, no, we're hurting on centers. I'm going to go with the center first. We're just, we'll go with that. Antonio Davis, um, a great rebounder. That's all of that. All I want him to do is play defense, clog the lane, and grab down rebounds for me, and, and I'm, I'm a happy guy. Uh, let's see. And that's what I was hoping for. We still were able to get Bill Bradley. I like, especially at this spot. Again, we're trying to play with more of the old school players versus the new school players. Let's see here. So, and again, we have all old school players. There's, there's nobody that's still in the NBA that's currently on my team here, which is, which is great. That's exactly what I was going for. Um, this is where I typically would get. I, I like to have three centers, three point guards, and, uh, and then I can mix in whatever I want for the last spot. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know what though? Oakley can play center. You know what? I'll I'll take him as my backup backup center point. You know, power forward. Uh, Charles Oakley been in the news a lot recently. I know you guys all saw what's happening to him at the Garden and stuff like that. So, uh, but he was a very big physical player. And I'll take Muggsy as my backup point guard. Um, I like Muggsy. He's still pretty quick. Um, he's a good passer. He's he is short, so people will be able to shoot over him. But that's your third point guard. So. Yeah, it, sh it shouldn't matter. Um, that's just in case people get into foul trouble. At least I still have a guy who can pass the ball and move the ball up the floor. Um, this last spot, um, I typically, depending on if he's available and he is, I'll take old Paul Pierce just to kind of come off the bench. Uh, I'm not expecting him to do anything crazy, but, um, but I figured that uh, that'll be a fun mix here. Let's see uh, where it ends up putting me. But either way, this team should be a lot of fun to play. Uh, just... Uh, yeah, GM mode's taking a little bit of time here. I apologize about that. Come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. And I'll recap one more time exactly uh, what we got. Yeah. So again, we got Allen Iverson, Walt Frazier. We got James Worthy. We got Brad Doherty. Uh, we got Tracy Porter, Dennis Rodman, Horace Grant, John Starks, Bill Bradley, Antonio Davis, Muggsy Bogues, an older version of Charles Oakley. But again, for coming off the bench, he'll be big, he'll be physical. Um, yeah, it'll be good. And you got Paul Pierce, obviously, uh, who can who can shoot the ball well. Um, so, so yeah, I think I think we did well. Let's see uh, how the game ranked me out here. Uh, be interested to see that. They had me fourth best overall, which is which is great, and that's before I've even you know, fired coaches or put any of that stuff in, uh, in GM. Um, I'll show you an example of that. I, I, I don't do this with a lot of my videos, but I'll do it today um, just because I want to kind of showcase again. Um, if you want to get the most out of GM mode, actually you have a really good coach already here. He's just not happy. One second here. Yeah, I see no reason to fire him. Um, he has the badges that I want. He's, you know, legendary coach. He's also got the teaching hat, so... The ball players fast. Um, this guy is not what I need. So let's see here. And again, I like Luke Samuel because you see that he has that teaching hat, and he's also a BM, both uh, offensive and defensive end. Um, so it's good. He always says it'll only do two years, but you just got to put more money in front of him, and he'll sign it. He'll sign that line. He'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Go here we go here we go. All right, so all right, so now we have Luke Samuel. He's at 56. Let's get him up to an 86. Let's get him all pep talk. Go. Come on. I'm sorry that my game is being a little buggy here. I don't know what's up with that. Come on. There we go. 
Oop, I ended up only giving him a 15. Fuck. Alright. So, this guy is not very good. Let's go ahead and fire him. Again, I, I want to get the right people in place. Even if they're not the absolute greatest, at least we get some, some decent people in place. One second here. This will be for draft picks in the future. That's why we're doing this. There we go. This is the guy I wanted. Uh, Isaac Flurry. As you saw, he's got the... And I'll, I'll reshow the badges that he has. But that's what I'm looking for. I always take badges over the grades. Uh, if you can get badges and grades, that's even better. But Go ahead and fire him. Come on. Come on, game. You're like you're firing too many people. All right. So here we go. And we take Clark. As you notice he's got the weightlifting pitcher as well as he's at an A+. Plus. Um, you really can't do any better than that. Uh, we're going to go for four years. We'll really lock this guy in. I'll pay him a little extra because he typically only likes to do two-year deals. Um, here we go. Fuck. Come on. Here we go. So he's in an 89s. He's pretty happy. These guys are good. Uh... We'll go ahead, we'll fix these, even though they don't have to be fixed. Um, one second. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're going to sign. There we go. Okay. We'll have to fire this dude. And I'm going to go back over the badges again that, that you guys should definitely be looking for when you create your teams. And I'll, I'll show you an example of why. Just a second here. Oh, good lord. It's taking too long. There we go. And with this one, I want the recruiting globe. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so now we have all those things in order. Now the next thing you want to do in GM mode, you go to training, go to player training, click on each one of these and make sure you put them to very high. That way they develop even faster. Double check, make sure I got everybody. And the one final step is then you go into coaching, coaching game plan, and we get the triangle. And that'll make sure that we have all the minutes on the right people um, and everything else. So you have the best suggested for going into the games. Huh. In this case, after doing all that, it actually says that we're worse. <laughs> it won't get to be that way as the season goes on, but that is funny. But by doing everything that I just did, your players will develop faster. And uh, that way they keep continue to move up and, and your guys will be where they need to be. Um, it's going to be a really fun team to play with. Again, whenever you have Allen Iverson, Walt Frazier, um, you know, on the same court, it's going to be fast. It's going to be furious. Um, Brad Doherty, I think, is an underrated center in the history of the game. Um, but again, please let me know what you guys think. Uh, please, if you guys are enjoying these, please like, please subscribe. Uh, I'll continue to make more and more of these and uh, and showcase exactly how we can uh, how we can destroy the game together. So I'm excited, definitely about that. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, see you guys next time. I'll keep creating these videos. Hoping you guys are liking. Hoping you guys are subscribing. All right. Have a great day.